Hi everybody, it's Miss LJ and I am here with Clifford, take me to school with you. I know my doggies miss their babies, my kiddos, when they go to school. They miss them every single day. And maybe you're a big kid that goes to school, but you have a little brother or sister that has to stay home. And I bet they miss you too. So this book is for you, but it's also a little bit for them. So let's get started. Clifford had a wonderful summer with his best friend, Emily Elizabeth. They went swimming. They went camping. They played games and they read books. But summer was over and it was time for Emily Elizabeth to go back to school. Clifford was very sad. I wish she could take me to school with her. Don't worry, Clifford, said Emily Elizabeth. I'll be home soon. Clifford tried to keep busy. Maybe I'll play with my toys, he thought to himself. But he didn't feel like playing. Then Clifford decided to take a nap. But he tossed and turned. Clifford couldn't even eat a doggy treat. He missed Emily Elizabeth too much. Then Clifford had an idea. What if Emily Elizabeth missed him too? Do you miss your pets and your brothers and sisters when you're at school? Maybe your mom a little bit? I bet. Maybe she wanted to come home and play with him. Clifford had to find out, so he ran toward the schoolhouse. When he got there, Emily Elizabeth wasn't alone. She was laughing and playing with her friends. I guess she doesn't miss me after all. Now that's not true, is it? When you're at school and having fun with your friends and learning a bunch and running around, you love it there, right? But you still miss your parents and your sisters and brothers and your doggies. So Clifford really doesn't have anything to worry about, does he? I hope he finds that out soon. There you are, said Cleo. We've been looking all over for you. I went to visit Emily Elizabeth, but she was too busy hanging out with her friends. I guess she doesn't miss me, said Clifford sadly. Emily Elizabeth loves you, said T-Bone, but she has to go to school. Come on, big guy, said Cleo. Emily Elizabeth will be out of school soon. Let's play in the park until then. So Clifford, T-Bone, Cleo, and Cleo went to the park. They played tug of war. They jumped in a pile of leaves. Clifford was having fun, but when the school bell rang, off he went. When Clifford got to the schoolhouse, Emily Elizabeth was walking out the door. As soon as she saw Clifford, she ran to him and gave him a big hug. Oh, Clifford, I missed you so much. Woof. Clifford was happy. Now he and Emily Elizabeth could play together the rest of the afternoon. Goodbye, Mrs. Carrington, said Emily Elizabeth as they left. Bye, Emily Elizabeth, replied Miss Carrington. Don't forget to do your homework. I'll do it as soon as I get home, said Emily Elizabeth. Clifford's ears perked up. Wasn't Emily Elizabeth going to play with him? Emily Elizabeth explained, I really want to play, Clifford, but first I have to do my homework. I'll play with you as soon as I'm done. Homework is very important, guys. You learn things at school, and when you come home, homework helps you cement it in here. So even if you want to play or watch TV or eat, you know, you can have a little snack and then just get right to it. It's really better once it's done. You don't have to worry about it. Clifford remembered what T-Bone had said about Emily Elizabeth and how she had to go to school. So he waited patiently and hoped that she would soon be ready to play. Finally, Emily Elizabeth was done with her homework. Okay, Clifford, I'm ready. But first, take a look at this, she said, showing him a piece of paper. Miss Carrington asked us to draw a picture of our favorite part of summer, explained Emily Elizabeth. I drew a picture of us at the beach because the best part for me was being with you. 
I really wish I could take you to school with me, but this year I'll be on my classroom, uh, but this picture will be on my classroom wall. This way I will see you all the time. Clifford nuzzled close to Emily Elizabeth. He realized that even though they couldn't be together all the time, Emily Elizabeth was still his best friend. The end. It's nice to know that even if we can't see our friends all the time, maybe for a long time, that they'll be our friends no matter what. Remember that if you ever miss your friends or your family when you're at school or if they miss you at home, just make sure they know that you love them and they love you. Bye, you guys. Have a wonderful day.